wait to see if you have somebody who wants to play with us today. Welcome to Flow Move for children. And we're gonna take a minute to just see if we have somebody who wants to play with us today. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. We're just waiting for everyone who wants to join us today to log on and we'll tell more in a little while. And if somebody wants to give a thumbs up on sound and picture, that's awesome. All the way from Norway, we want to know that you can see us and hear us clearly. Hello, fresh. <laughs> oh. Is the sound nice and you can see us cle uh, clearly? Then we soon are ready to begin. A couple of more seconds. That's perfect. We have perfect sound, Tara. Okay, welcome everyone to uh, Flow Move for Children. <laughs> Hello. This is a lesson uh, which we hear up in Norway at my club has have had for years for children. And it's a um, very functional movement based training with a lot of squatting, crawling, actually some kicking and we do some handstanding drills. We also use, usually use some gymnastic rings, but not today. It's very playful. And uh, I'm so happy to have my daughter with me today. Um, maybe you saw us earlier this week on Tuesday. If you didn't see that session yet, you can go back and watch that one, that one later. We went through a lot of basic movements. We're gonna do that today as well, but we're also gonna put a little bit more on. So we go a little bit further. Okay. So if you guys are ready, we need our own body, that's it. And we need some floor, uh, uh, floor space. And yeah, that's it. And if you have your parents with you, that's even better. So you, they can join in. So you have some partners to do this with. Okay, we're gonna actually start by warming up our wrists. So let's just come to all four, placing our hands under our shoulders. So we can put a little bit of weight on them. We can move a little bit backwards, Sarah. So, and you can spread your fingers and actually push a little bit into the ground. Just feel a little bit of pressure down to the floor so you can maybe feel that you can feel a little bit in your wrist. And when you push into the ground, lift your knees two centimeters from the ground to just feel the weight on your arms. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's soften the wrist even more. We put our wrists together like this and spreading the fingers draw our knees a little bit forward so we can make circles into our wrists to make them warm up get a little bit used to the to the movement and having weight a couple of more circles this way let's turn to the other side Sarah and um, it's nice when you're two you can do the same direction like me and Sarah's doing Two more, and maybe this feels a little bit strange, and maybe you can feel a little bit, and we stop there, that's great. Okay, move your hands under your shoulders again. This time, continue moving your fingers so they can point to your body. And again, feel that it's okay for your wrist and your elbows, that you can feel it, but not too much, but you put a little bit of pressure on your arms. Here. Slowly try to come a little bit backwards with your bum closer to your heel so you can feel it stretching a little bit in your underarm. We take a couple more. Four and three and two and one. And we hold the last one a little bit, make it stretch a little bit more. 
and release. Okay, turn your fingers facing front again. This time we are going all the way into the gorilla pose. So first, turn your fingers facing to each other. And from there, you can see if you can continue turning your fingers pointing more and more towards your body. Listen that it, to your elbow and your wrist, that it feels okay. I'm kind of flexible in this one, so you might not look like this. But it should feel okay, but it's okay to feel a little bit. Try to uh, push your arms a little bit into the ground again. And come slowly a little bit back with your bum. One. We take four of these as well. Two. And three. And one more. And four. Holding. And release. Okay. Just come sitting like this. Stretch your arms. Make a fist of your hands and just roll. It might be a strange feeling in the beginning warming up the wrist like this. It's really useful. Also for the grown-ups. Not forgetting this really important part of the body. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do some bigger movements to get some more warm into the body. So we're gonna stand up. So we're gonna go further back into the room. And we place our heels shoulder wide distance, toes pointing a little bit outwards. We're going to go really deep into the squat position. So just stretch your arms forward at first. And we're going slowly down, trying to keep our heels into the ground. Are you ready? Okay. Four, three, two, and all the way down there. And coming up. Three more. Four, three, two, all the way down. And up. We do two more. Four, three, two, one. The next one, when we come up, we straighten our arms all the way next to your ears we're really stretching going for the roof guys and we try to continue stretching for the roof while we go down four three hold two and hold the position hold here you can bounce a little bit like this four three two and one and just bring your arms forward okay put your elbows inside of your knees push a little bit to your knees and just bounce a little bit, like this. Okay, maybe you can move your spine a little bit as well. And your hips. Yes, okay. We're gonna do something which we call the king and the queen. So we're gonna jump a little bit forward, have a little bit more space between us. The king and the queen will make us end up in something called the pistol squat. But we're gonna do some practicing here first. So sitting in the squat, Try to lift your right heel up like this and then turning the knee to the left chin and then you just sit on top of your heel here as a king or a queen. We can wave like this. Return to the squat position again. Okay, lifting the left heel, twisting so you can touch your chin and king and queen. And we can wave like a queen. Or a king. Return to the squat. Okay, we're gonna take this a little bit further. You might have your fingers in the, the floor in the floor if you want to here. Lift your right heel. We're putting the knee to the left chin, and you can see if you can bring your arms like this. We're gonna put down the whole foot down to the floor and see if we can do it without the bum landing onto the floor, stretching our left foot all straight forward. Pistol squat, okay? Put your foot down again and return to the squat position. We try the other way as well. Lift your left heel. We touch the chin, straighten your arms or you can have it into ground. If you fell down on your bum the last time, you can try it with your arms. And we slowly go down and stretch our front foot. Ah, beautiful. You're doing as best as you can. And return to the squat position again. Oh, that's great. Okay, so straighten your arms so we can come up for two seconds here. Just shake our legs. That's great. And coming down again. Okay. Last time, we did uh, some beast pose position and crab pose. And we're going to continue with that. After this, we're going to play a little bit more with it. So beast pose is this position. You're placing your hands under your shoulders, pushing into the ground. You have your knees 
in front of your hips and you put your toes, tuck your toes under so you can lift your knees two centimeters. So this is the beast pose and it's kind of have a position to be in if you really have your knees low. You have to really use your core and you can soon feel the heat coming into, bo into the body. Can you Sarah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put down your knees again. We're going to practice a little bit here before we do the whole exercise. Just face front Sarah. Okay. So lift your knees. And try now to lift the toes on your right foot and your left arm from the ground. So the opposite foot and arm and put it down. Try to lift your left arm and your right arm. Hold and put it down. So what we're going to do now, we're going to try to move with a diagonal moving. And we're going to play with this because me and Sarah, we're going to face front to each other. And if you have someone to do that with, that's great. If you don't, pretend that you have someone, okay? And we're gonna come into the beast pose position. And then we push into the ground and we lift our knees and we're gonna keep our knees lifted just above the floor. And we do a high five. One, two, and then we're gonna turn. And we're gonna do it diagonal. So we're all the way, opposite arm and foot are moving at the same time, all the way till we're facing with our behinds, and we do a high five here. High five, Sarah. And we continue the circle. Oh, can you feel this, Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, it's heavy, isn't it? Woo! All the way. And you can come down. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay. And we also practiced the crab pose last time. So you can do it with your face in front, Sarah. With the crab pose, we have the arms behind us. And we place your feet, bend it like this, and you lift your chest, and you lift your bum, a couple of centimeters above the floor, like this. And we can try to do the diagonal lift again. So if you lift your right arm and your left foot, put it down, and opposite, and put it down, put it down. Okay, let's do the same, do a high five this time. Facing this way first, are you ready? Yeah. Lift your chest. Okay, high five. And we start moving in a circle. Okay, this is gonna be exciting. Okay, high five, Tara. Where are you? <laughs> high five, the other one. High five. Okay, let's move. Open your chest. Woo, all the way. Not as heavy as the other one, but still. Yeah, okay. Down with your bum again. Oh, that's great. Okay. We're now going to do deep beast with a front step through. We also did this on Tuesday, but we're taking the basic movement from the start again. The deep beast. You sit in a squat and you lift your heels and you start sliding your arms forward. Try to take your head between your arms and you take your knees pretty close to the floor without the knees touching. So it's kind of heavy to be in a deep beast pose, but do as best as you can. And when I say now, right foot front step, I'm gonna lift my right arm so I can place my foot there instead. Are you ready, sorry, Sarah? <laughs> right foot front step. And you draw your elbow backwards and push into the ground with the left arm. Okay. Return to deep beast. And left foot front step. Return. Okay, we're gonna take the next step. We're gonna do a true front step true. So now I'm gonna say right foot front step. Okay, push into the ground. And we're gonna bring this foot through, okay? One, two, two, three, true. <laughs> Return to deep beast. Beast. Okay, left foot front step. True. Return to deep beast. One more time to each side. Right foot front step. True. Return to deep beast. Left foot front step. True. Return to deep beast. And you can put your knees to the floor again. Whew. Well done, okay. We have a 
our next move is also an animal move. This sort of this is called animal flow. Some of these exercises we're doing now. And this one is called the lateral traveling monkey. We practiced a little back and forth last time, so we're gonna show you guys again. Coming into the squat position, and it's moving sideways, this monkey. So if I stretch my arm to the side, I can put one and one arm into the floor, and then for one little second, I have all my weight in my, on my arms, so I can land softly, like an animal, really quiet and back the same way ah so then you really try to be smooth like a monkey feel like a monkey and really be quiet and what we're going to do today for half a minute i want you to try to be a monkey just going around wherever you have space in your room and i'm going to count down from 10 you can go wherever you don't have to see us and if you hear me starting counting i'm going to count from 10 to 1 and make sure you're back at the screen at one, okay? Are you ready, Sarah? Let's go. We just start working, moving around. Woohoo! <laughs> Almost hitting each other. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Well done, you guys. Whew. Yes, a really nice one. I hope you really used your whole room there, just traveling around. Okay, now for today's little challenge. Uh, we're gonna do uh, some handstanding again. So we're gonna do, again, gonna tell a little bit of what's important to think of when we handstand. Number one is how you place your arms that you're very firmly place your arms under your shoulder, maybe a little bit wider than your shoulders, and you really try to push the floor away from you. So that's the main focus, pushing your floor away. The next thing, you can come up, Sarah. If you stretch your arms all the way up, like your hand standing, pushing, okay. So squeeze your heels together, squeeze your bum, and try to take your tailbone all the way between your legs. Yes, yeah, so you get that firm, engaged core. Really pushing into the ground here. So she's pushing and trying to keep firmness in her whole body. So now, last time I was on all four when we did this, but this time one person can do the down dog. And now Sarah is gonna do what we call um, L-shaped handstand from my bum. Okay, so I'm uh, coming into the down dog. I put my head between my arms and try to lift my bum as high as possible, my tailbone. Okay, Sarah, you can place one and one foot on my bum. Try to make the L-shape. Yes, okay. Can you come a little bit further here with your arms? Ah, lift your bum, great. Okay, Sarah, can you lift one foot to the top of the roof? Woo! Great, and the other one. Push into the ground, beautiful. And coming down all the way. Ah, that's great. Can I try on you as well? Okay. Okay, so if you have someone you can switch with now, the other one can try, okay? So if you do the down dog, I'm excited to see if you can, uh, can handle, handle me, Sarah. Okay, you have hang a proper down dog. I'm placing my arms very firmly. Okay, one foot, two foot, let's see. Okay, I have the shape of um, the letter L. Okay, pushing into the ground, being strong, lifting one foot. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> okay. And the other one, lifting, pushing, and coming down. Okay, how you do? How did you do at home? This one is fun to practice together, isn't it? So we're gonna do it also afterwards even more. Okay, we're gonna just come a little bit down, everyone together as well. So let's just sit down, put our bum over our heels, and 
and we're gonna breathe a little bit together. So straighten your backs, try to be nice and tall, lift your chest a little bit. And we take a deep inhale through the nose, lifting our shoulders to the ears. Hold your breath and exhale, release the shoulders backwards. Okay, let's do that two more times because that feels nice, doesn't it? Breathe in, holding, and exhale. One more time. Breathing in, and exhaling. Okay. On next time you take a deep inhale, try to make it through your nose again, stretch your arms forward all the way, like this, and we try to get them all the way behind our back, you can do it do as well, Sarah, yes, I'm gonna turn, you can just sit like we're sitting, and we make our fingers um, a bond behind us, and try to, try to straighten your elbows, lift your chest, and let's take a deep inhale again, Sarah. Lift your chest, high. Two more times. Try to straighten your arms behind you one more time. Lifting them, and releasing. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, let's just come all the way, sitting on the floor. And we can put our feet like this together. And we can take a nice firm grip around our toes. And you try to pull your heels a little bit closer. Okay, try to straighten your back. And you can move a little bit with your knees like this. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get our head down to our toes, okay? So take a deep inhale. And I don't think I can do this, but I'm gonna try. Uh, no, I'm not there yet. Oh, try for a couple more seconds. <sighs> Breathing in one more time. And exhale. Just slowly come up again. Just straighten your feet. <sighs> oh, that was fun, guys. You had fun, Sarah? Yeah, I enjoyed that. I love playing like this. I hope you guys also had a lot of fun. And you can look at this session more times and practice some of the moves we did. It's fun to practice. It comes easier and easier. And you can play putting those moves together. That's a lot of fun. So we just want to send a lot of love from Norway. And we're so happy to be with you guys. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.